In this quick video, I wanted to show you how to programmatically accept end user license agreement to deploy a third party Azure Marketplace image programmatically. So if you go to Azure Marketplace and you search for a product, so for example, Teradata Viewpoint is a product, it will have multiple, this is a virtual machine image, and it will have multiple SKUs. Some of the SKUs will be paid and some of them will be free. And I can, what if I want to programmatically deploy a VM from this image in my subscription? What you will notice if you deploy it from the portal using this UI and then clicking on get it now and following through, there will be a step in the process where you review the user agreement that Teradata as a publisher uh, provided. And once you accept it, you can deploy the VM. However, if you do not accept that agreement, even though this offer is free, you cannot deploy it. Let's see what error message you get when you try to deploy it without accepting the agreement first. So I'm going to go to my portal and open a cloud shell in Bash. And then I'm going to just look at all of the VM images that Teradata published for this offer. Okay, so we're going to get the image IDs. And then we're going to try to create a VM from one of those images and see the error message that we get. So these are the different images. Let's create a resource group. Easy group create name AVULA resource group, location East US 2. This will be very fast, creates an empty resource group. And then let's create a virtual machine. Let's give it a name, AVULA VM. Um, let's put it in the East US2 location in the same resource group we just created. Okay. And then let's point it to the image. So the image identifier is the publisher, the offer, the SKU which is going to be single system hourly. I'm looking right here on my screen. And then the version. Okay. And then we're going to say that um, we will generate the SSH keys as well. Okay. So let's see what this error is saying. The error came back very quickly and it told us, hey, I couldn't deploy. The legal terms have not been accepted for this item, for this subscription. To accept the legal terms, please go to the Azure portal and configure programmatic deployment for the marketplace item or create it there for the first time. That's all great. And we let's see how we would do it to enable the programmatic deployment for this visible image. But as you can see, this will break my CI CD or some automation where I want to do these deployments completely automatically without using the portal at all. And in the past, there was no choice. There was no API to enable it. Now there is a new API uh, that allows me to do it via an API instead of the portal. So let's see how I would have done it in a portal. Okay, so I would have gone to the UI and I would have searched for Teradata viewpoint. Okay, if I spell it correctly, Teradata viewpoint, I would have picked the single system hourly and I would have clicked this one to deploy programmatically and I would select the enable button and save it. Okay, so once I did that, what it actually did is whitelisted this offer for my subscription. So let me see again. You see, I'm looking at the offer. I went through fast. I reviewed the terms of service, terms of use, exactly as provided by the publisher. And when I, and I reviewed the privacy policy and I reviewed the rest of it. And then I say enable and save. And it made it so this subscription now, if I try this deployment again, it will actually work. Okay. But I had to go to the portal and do it there. That's number one problem. Number two problem, some images that are used by solution templates, for example, are not even visible in the portal. So there is no link. There is no way for me to find an image and to accept the deployment programmatically through this UI. So let's see, where can I see what is accepted by my subscription? So if you go to subscriptions, okay, click on your subscription and scroll down here to a section called programmatic deployment you can now see that it is enabled today. And that means I can do programmatic deployments. Let's disable it. And let's see, is there a way for us to do the same functionality, but instead of using the portal to do it programmatically via some kind of RESTful APIs? Those APIs are not yet documented, but they will be documented soon. So let's try first to do them uh, via the example that I have. 
So number one step, I'm going to open Postman. And in Postman, I'm going to get my token credential. So this is uh, this video assumes that you know how to do it. So I have an application service principle defined, and I'm basically just posting and asking for a token from Azure Active Directory for my tenant, for my subscription, with a secret that I'm pasting in a body. And I'm going to get back a token, okay? And that token is going to be put inside of my access token environment variable. Then, I constructed the request, so I'm going to minimize this to focus more on here. So here is the API, right? Management at Azure.com subscriptions, my subscription ID, providers, Microsoft Marketplace ordering, offer types, virtual machine, publishers, Teradata, offers, Teradata viewpoint, plans, Teradata viewpoint, single system hourly, agreements, current, and the API version. If I make a GET request to this endpoint, I will get back a, an error that says that uh, my token was incorrect because I did not have the right audience in it. That's a, that's a common mistake. So let me go back quickly and fix it real quick. So I will go to the body and I, for, by mistake, grab the wrong token management. And let's just repost it again. Azure.com. Okay, so I grabbed the token. Let's go back here again. So this mistake was something that can happen sometimes when you are grabbing tokens in the wrong audience type. So this is the information about the agreement. You can see that it's the key phrase here is that it accepted equals false. It also gives this very important field called signature and an information about all kinds of this offer, right? With a publisher offer and SKU, and most importantly, the actual license agreement to which you would be accepting. So imagine you have an automation system that will, or some kind of other UI, management UI, where you would make a request to this endpoint, you'd grab back this information, and using the license text link, you could pull this up, I just copy this URL, and you could display it to the user, so that they can see what they're accepting, okay? So the user reads the agreement, okay? This is the agreement that was provided by the publisher. They accept the agreement, and then they want to accept it. So how do I do the acceptance part of it? So under what the only thing I need to do is basically do a put operation to the same URL where I had the offer and the SKU and the publisher, but in the body, I will copy the output that I got here with, with the signature that's encoded and the date, and I will post it here, and I will replace the accepted from false to true, okay? And I will do a send. This is a JSON payload that goes there, okay? And there we go. So now it says accepted, true, that's the came back with the status, okay, let's get this back again and see what we see, and we see accepted is true. And then let's go to the portal UI and see what we see in the portal UI. So this is our portal UI. We're going to the subscription, going to my subscription, programmatic deployment. Okay. And let's just play a little, toggle it back and forth. You can see now it is enabled, which is great. That's what we wanted it to be. So let's close this out. Let's go back to Postman and toggle it to false now. Okay. So we're going to do a get and it's going to say true going to copy the body and we're going to do a put so this doing it programmatically via your favorite language there's no sdk just yet and powershell support will come in the future very soon as well but let's put it back to false for now you can always just do it on the low level so there you go false and then let's go back to our ui and reload the programmatic deployment list and we should not see it there anymore right and we do not see it there anymore. And let's toggle it back to be true. So again, we're going to get it, copy the body that we received and do a put request with accepted equals true. So we do accepted equals true right here and submit and the request came back. And then if we look back at the portal We'll close this UI to get it to refresh. We'll open it again. 
and we'll say programmatic deployment and you can see it's enabled and now let's see if i did that call now if i programmatically want to deploy it from here i'm clicking go and because this record exists in my portal you can see that my deployment is starting i'm no longer getting the error about legal terms have not been accepted what this allows me to do is to uh, if i have a new subscription that i never deployed this offer in and i want to run a test um, and I'm, let's say, the publisher itself, let's say I'm the publisher who published this image, I can use this programmatic API to accept the EULA and do the deployment. If I'm the end customer deploying this, obviously, very important, you have to show this, this uh, um, agreement to the user and only then accept it. It would not be appropriate to accept the agreement without the agreement actually having been read. That is why the information that you get back from the API definitely contains the retrieval date and the privacy link and a license text link and the special signature okay and basically the key to it are these two uh, get and put requests again just in the header of these requests there is a bearer token and how i get the access token is just a regular way um, that you know you can search online how to get an uh, access token from azure for azure endpoint but to recap it very quickly you would put a client and a secret the resource type and you would make a post request to the Active Directory. But once you have it, these are the two APIs that you use to accept the agreement. And as you can see in the portal running, I will have my VM created very shortly. So under the resource groups, if I see the resource group creation, you can see that the deployment is currently executing and the VM is being, is being created. The VM is being created, there's no errors, and the VM will create in a few minutes from this image. That's it. Thank you for watching. Take care.